Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Hi everyone and welcome. Hope you're all well. And what's this one about? Well, it's a review of Leeds Fair, Leeds Retro Games Fair, uh, which was taking place at the Marriott Hotel uh, in the city centre. And that was last Saturday, which was the 1st of February. And myself and Joe, we, we planned for a few weeks that we were going to this event and we were really looking forward to it. And we weren't disappointed to be honest. Uh, it was a lovely little retro games fair at market. So we got there, we got the training, and we got there about, I would say just after nine o'clock. We went into McDonald's, we grabbed a little, little bit of breakfast, and then we made his way to the Marriott Hotel. And Eddie had already got there. We met up with him once we got inside. When we got to the Marriott Hotel, they were a little queue, it weren't bad, and we didn't have to wait long. By the time we got there, uh, the, the queue were moving forward, they were letting people in. Eddie were already there. <laughs> Somehow he, he beat us. Um, when, we, when we set off from Pontefract to get to Leeds, he set off from Runcorn, and he still beat us. He run me up saying, whereabouts are you? I said, well, just on train still, coming into Leeds. And they're like, all oh, right, well, I'm, I'm already there. So, But anyway, um, once we got inside, it was two pound entry each to get in, and that's nothing, it's absolutely nothing. You know, a couple of quid, and you can go in and out all day, uh, as much as you like. So, you know, for, for me especially, I, I thought I was a bargain. Yeah, we also met up with Griffo, and Griffo also uh, made his way to the to the event by train. And yeah, it was it was really nice to see Griffo, meet him, and um, pretty much spent all the time there with Griffo and Eddie. In fact, uh, at one point, myself, Joe, and Griffo we went to the bar, the Cast Iron Bar, which is part of the Marriott Hotel and grab the pint and I sit down and chat and and then Eddie, Eddie found us, he came along and uh, we were just talking a, a while there. Then we went back into the event. Later on we, we went out for something to eat and yeah, it, <laughs> Eddie, Griffo, they're vegans. Yeah, they took me to a vegan cafe and a uh, vegan restaurant. And to be honest, it, it really wasn't bad. Uh, in its own right, it wasn't bad. Yeah, I had the sun fried chicken, uh, chicken, uh, which wasn't chicken. But yeah, it, it was all right. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock it. And then we had a walk up to uh, CEX, and then into game before we finished the day off and, and made his way home. Quite a spectacular uh, walk up Brigger and wow, <laughs> if you've never been up Brigger on a Saturday afternoon, it's well worth it. It's well worth the journey to Lee City Centre just for that. Absolutely bonkers. Street performers, um, preachers and stalls, so it, it, it's, it's absolute madness. It's like a carnival. But yeah, um, absolutely bonkers, and it, you know it, it brought a nice uh, vibe to, towards the end of the day. Uh, what we've got running in back going well? We've got Crash Bandicoot uh, playthrough. That's Crash Bandicoot One running on the big screen. On the little screen down here, we've got Simpsons Hit and Run on the PlayStation Two. And Retro Raccoon, he's just sat there, sandwiched between the two TVs, just chilling. Let me explain a little bit about Leeds Retro Games Fair. There were, there were a couple of arcade cabinets, um, only about five or six. I never actually got to play on them. There were always somebody on them. Um, because the area that, that, that all the stalls were set out, it, it, I must admit there wasn't a lot of space 
but but even so there was still enough for you to to walk through, filter through each, each area and uh, I think there were three separate areas uh, the largest part being a little, little hall um, but inside it was chock-a-block with uh, with traders and Saw Funds attended uh, Saw Funds is one of one of my favourite retro gaming shops in York yeah me and Joe we made his way around in fact I think we went around a couple of times we did the perimeter first and then the second lap we did the insides uh, the, the stalls inside the uh, the hall and there were, there were all sorts I mean I'll be honest I didn't expect to spend much um, I was told that the event wasn't that big so and to wait for Doncaster but I thought no I really want to go um, more, more so just to meet up with, with other people and you know and and even if I didn't come away with anything uh, for me now to be honest the events is more about meeting the people meeting the other community members and that's what that's pretty much what we did really however I did I did pick up some good some good stuff I think it's good stuff anyway the first I mean the first stall came to I bought something straight away I did exactly the same at Doncaster last year and blow well no no this this didn't blow a lot of my budget but um but yeah at Doncaster they did blow half my budget straight away in in two minutes uh, but but at Leeds I got this as you all know I'm a big fan of Crash and I got this obviously I'll show you a video clip so you can get a better view but it's um, it's a gold it's a gold figurine of Crash Bandicoot. It's Crash Bandicoot Golden Totoku number 29. And it, it, it's lovely. I mean this there's an in, there's an inner box uh, inside this this crate like this crate looking box. So even if I wanted I could take that out and hang it up uh, in the Crash Bandicoot section in the lock up. But I'm not um, I'm going to keep it in this box. It does have an hanging um, hole at the top, but I don't really want to hang this. I think it'd be it just it'd sit like that. That's not too bad, I suppose. I thought it'd be. Yeah, I'll see anyway. I, I do need to rearrange uh, the the PS2 wall, the shelves on top. I am going to rearrange rearrange that. It's looking a bit a little bit untidy. There's just random stuff all over, and even if it means me putting certain items away uh, in a box uh, on the metal racking, and perhaps I might do that because I I want to I want to theme um, certain areas of it, and Crash Bandicoot is one theme that I intend doing. That was fifteen pound, um, and I didn't even barter. I only really learnt later on to barter and, and Eddie and Eddie uh, was my mentor in that and later on uh, I did a little bit of barter and, and yeah I got, I got a couple of pounds knocked off but anyway well later on we went into game uh, I'll just get this one out of the way I don't think I didn't buy anything in CEX I were only there the other week and there was nothing uh, extra that I needed it's in the PS2 section and but anyway in game I know that Griffo the other week he did a video and he picked up some really cheap PS4 titles and I couldn't find any uh, but he, he dug me out this and it's Dino Dini's kickoff revival this this came to life on the Amiga and it's it's a similar looking game to sensible soccer I do prefer sensible soccer, but uh, yeah, I mean this this was popular as well on the Amiga. Uh, Dino Dean is kickoff, and this one 99p, absolute bargain. So it's a nice one for me, PS4 collection, nice and cheap. Well, actually in CES I did buy something just more gaming related. I want, I'm not sure whether I'm going to put this on on this video, but I, I'm going to do because. I'm a massive Tarantino fan and at the moment I've got his full collection of DVDs 
However, what I want to do is change them all to Blu-ray. And I've got two Blu-rays at the minute. I've, I've swapped two out for Blu-rays. And I thought, while I'm there, I'm going to grab a couple because they're, they're fairly cheap. I managed to get Blue, uh, Blue. True Romance on Blu-ray. Uh, cracking film. I'm not going to divulge too much in these because it's not gaming related and I'm, I'm not a film channel. And then Kill Bill 1 and Kill Bill 2. And that, that's, that's one of my purchases from CEX. And yeah, I'm going to swap them out and so on. You know, hopefully I'll, uh, I'll end up with all the, the Blu-ray collection of Tarantino. Anyway, back to the video game market at Leeds. And later on, we were, um, we were getting close to, to us leaving the market. <laughs> and we come to this one stall and there were five, five for £2.50 on certain games that are marked up with these purple stickers. About to grab some, about to give my money to somebody and then Eddie come and oh see if he'll do this for for this much brought a couple of games to me and I and I went, oh, you'll do it Eddie <laughs> like oh, give me here then so and he did he gone for whatever, whatever price he said I can't remember um but on that store for two Acetronic games they're just um, cartridges and although I haven't got an Acetronic it is also compatible with Radafin and Prince Tronic and I do have those and um, I'm not even sure I'm not sure if, if the systems I've got are, are, are cartridge based but even so they were at five pound each and I, I really like the look of them the boxes are in they're in real good condition not me but they're in good condition and um, it's these two so we've got horse racing and that's number 12 and like I said, the boxes, you know, they're scuffed a little bit on the edges as you would expect from the camera. But I mean, we're talking, these are from, these are from the 70s. So that's not too bad. And then we've got Air, C Attack, Air and C Attack. And they're both £5. And I was saying to John, I might, I might go and ask, I might do a bit of art today. So I said, what are you going to do? I said, well, I don't know. I might see if he'll take them both for six quid. And she looked at me in a way that, you know, I doubt, he'll, I doubt they'll do all that. So I went, no, it right, don't matter. It don't matter. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. And then Eddie, we're on his way out, and Eddie, uh, we were passing the Saw Thumbs store, and there were two items on these shelves. And Eddie just went straight in with a price to them for both these, uh, these items. And there's a little confer, the three of them, uh, running the stall. And they came back with a, with a price. And he like, yeah, fair enough. And I'm like, what a guy. <laughs> no messing about, just straight in with it. I thought, right, that's it, I'm going back. And I actually, uh, I did say to her, I said, I want these two, but five pound each, what do you reckon? And he says, well, go in with seven, start at seven. Uh, you know, I mean, I could have gone in with six, like I said earlier, but maybe it was a little bit cheeky. Anyway, that's what I did. I went in with seven, and, and he looked at me. The bloke was just looking at me, and I'm like, he's not going to do it. And he went, yeah, go on then. <laughs> I was buzzing. Seven quid for these two, and like I said, they're really old games. Uh, just, just show pieces, really. I don't think I've got anything to play on these. I do have, I do have uh, Prince Tronic and Radafin systems, but I don't think they're cartridge based, like I said. But anyway, that's that's Acetronic Horse Racing and Air and Sea Attack. So obviously, I want with some PS2 games, and uh, I've got a bundle here, got a pile of them, and five of these were from the the stall selling them. At, five for two fifty and I'm really lucky actually because uh, they had a big tub but I had most of them and as luck had it there were five I didn't have um, so I managed to, to grab five new games and I've also in this pile also got others that I picked up around the around the uh, the market 
None, none, I didn't pay any more than a quid for the others. Anyway, first one we've got is Battle Engine Aquila. And this is by Atari. Never played this game. Looks kind of like a, a mech, mech based game. Mech based shooting game. Next we've got FMX Freestyle Metal X. Um, this is this is motorbike uh, scrambler type uh, motorbike game. Game something I've never played. Then we've got Grand Prix Challenge. The most exciting and exhilarating driving experience. Just Formula One. That's by Atari. Uh, I was pleased to get this. This was a pound, and this was this is Mighty Moolan. This one is a Phoenix title. So not only has it gone to my PlayStation 2 collection, but it's gone to my Phoenix Games collection as well. This Phoenix Games subset, Mighty Moolan. And then we've got the uh, DreamWorks and Hardman animation um, flushed away. Are the rats or something? Yeah, rats. And obviously based on the the animation, the cartoon of the same name. Then we've got Hype the Time Quest. Looks Lego based. Looks, looks a little bit like a Lego character. At the front. Oh, it's Playmobil. It's Playmobil, and that's by Ubisoft. Hype the Time Quest. Then we've got Circus Maximus, Chariot Wars. So it's obviously a chariot race, chariot based racing game. Race, fight and conquer. Um, that's by Encore and THQ. Then we've got Reckless, the Yakuza missions. More missions, more mayhem, more Reckless. Um, there's there's cars, car mounted rocket launchers and stuff like that, so it's going to be explosive uh, driving action. And that's by Activision. And then we've got Animaniacs, the great Edgar Hunt. Uh, you'll still love the Animaniacs cartoon, a lot of fun, a lot of silliness. Defeat Cyril Coupe de Ville, save Tinseltown and the famous Edgar Awards. So they're the PS2 pickups from Leeds Video Game Market. Now we, we went to one store and there are a load of um, strategy guides and I've got a couple, I've only got a couple already. Uh, Pete gave me one of them, LA Noir strategy guide. I thought, I was saying to Joe, oh, I really want to collect these. They're somewhat cheap enough, some were a little bit more pricier. I thought, I'll tell you what, I'll just do it, I'll just do one at a time, you know, I'm not going to start buying loads of strategy guides at once, I'll just do them, at each event I go to, I'll just buy a strategy guide that I come across, so, I managed to get one, it was only £3, and it's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, yeah, so they're mainly done by Brady Games, these guides, that's what I'm going to do, another little subset, I keep saying I'm going to cut down on subsets, and I just can't. <laughs> I can't help it. But that's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Signature Series Guide. So hopefully it'll uh, help me play the game better. <laughs> I, think, I think I told you in the previous video that me and Joe have been playing uh, COD Modern Warfare, the, the latest one online so much fun really is and the plan was to, to get online and uh, on the Xbox 360 and play with Gurney and Eddie and I'm having a little bit of trouble with the with the old Xbox well the registration to, to get online and I can't remember I showed Eddie this met this this had a message that's coming up with something to do with live status or something and he even, he even went and asked uh, 
somebody for me. See if they know the the, the problem. And they come back and says, ah, no, can't help you now. So anyway, I've, I've saved best for last. And I couldn't believe it. I'm walking around, we'll come to this stall. Uh, I think it was a couple. Uh, I don't know if they were just selling the their uh, stuff that they've got stored in their attic off or what, uh, or if they were, uh, you know, regular sellers. And they had a PC engine car, and as, well, as you can imagine, I did buy it, but it went up at £75. I says, does it work? He says, yeah. He says, it just needs a step down converter. And first time I've ever done, I wonder where I'll get one of them from. As it happened, it basically it's just, just a travel adapter. It's just to convert it from the two prongs that from the Japanese, because it's a Japanese model, obviously, uh, to a three pin plug. And uh, yeah, I bought it. It was 75, I, I, I asked for 65. And he says, no, I'll do 70. It's fair enough. That's still relatively cheap uh, compared to what they're going for on eBay. The PC engine, now the box isn't in the greatest condition and I'm not even sure if if it's missing the bottom half of the box or if that's just how it comes. I can't see it coming like that to be honest. Just Paul Stein underneath. If anybody uh, danced to the, um, oh, I nearly forgot. Whilst we were there, uh, we bumped into Tutu UK and Dainster and had a little bit of a chat with them both, uh, nothing too in depth and perhaps maybe at Doncaster I'll get to chat to you a little bit more. You know sometimes at these, especially in the halls, in the, in the gaming halls, you, you kind of, well I do anyway, you kind of feel like you're, you're blocking the aisle when you're, when you're busy calling. Uh, so in future I really am hoping that maybe there'll be a pub nearby or something. I don't know what there is at Doncaster. Uh, but yeah, it'd be nice to take time out and just sit down and, and, and chat to uh, the other guys, the other members of the community. And although I do think Stu, Tutti UK and Daystar are, are actually doing stalls at Doncaster so they won't be able to come away from a pie. Uh, we'll see anyway, but anyway, uh, yeah, it would be it, nice to to see Tootie again and have a little chat to Dainster, who I've not met before. So, uh, but back to this PC engine, it's the core graph, graphic, graphic, I can't say it, graphics. Like I said, the box is it's, it's a bit battered, but I, I'm just so pleased to have it. I'm absolutely buzzing to have it. And I know I was buzzing last week with the with the 3DO, the Panasonic 3DO. But to be honest, I, I'm, I'm even more buzzing with this. Because I always remember seeing the adverts for the PC Engine uh, in the magazines, but it were only through mail order. And they were, they were expensive at the time. They were, uh, they were rich boys toys. Um, and I never had one. Now, I was sure that, it, that they had a U card with this. It was sat on top, but in the in the the, uh, the excitement of looking at it and opening it up and what have you, I and looking at the stuff and talking to the people, the uh, the card just disappeared. And we were sat down in, in the cast iron bar, and Eddie says to me, "Did you get a game?" I says, "Yes." Yeah. I said, oh, there were one one game. So I don't know what it is." We were looking all over for it and we couldn't find it. I'm like, oh, I wonder if it's dropped off at the side and it's been left on the table. Anyway, went back later on and the cards were there, but it was a bit priced up. So obviously it, it won't part of this. I think it was just sat with it uh, in case you bought it and you wanted to buy the game. But I just, I just assumed it was with the, with the console. And, but not too many, because um, as, it, as it happens, I'm actually glad I didn't because that £15 I have put it to better use. I've ordered space out here uh, on e off eBay. Now it's got to come from Japan so it's going to be later in this month when I get it. But yeah, I mean I've killed two birds with one stone. I've got a game for this. 
and Space Harrier. I collect Space Harrier games, so it'll go it'll go in that collection as well. Uh, but the thing to know is this cable, this RGB cable. Now Eddie says, he says you do realise he says that they can, you can sell this on eBay for about fifty pound. So, so in theory, you've got the console for twenty pound. <laughs> And yeah, I mean, I'm not going to do obviously. I need it to to set it up. I can't wait to to play this. I can't wait to get it working, get it get it turned on, and have again space out here. But that's later in the month. But yeah, that's the uh, PC Engine card graphics. Um, they're really tiny consoles, but they're, but they're really weighty. Uh, yeah, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. Oh, I need to step down the adapter as well, so until that happens, I can't do anything with it other than admire it. <laughs> so that's really it for Leeds Market. And I think it was a fabulous event. Um, yeah, it's smaller than, uh, well, small than Doncaster. It's small, I won't even say it was smaller than the Blackpool Market, that um, at the Blackpool Play Expo. They had a little market, probably about the same size, really. Um, but I thought it was, I thought it was fantastic. Uh, like I said, it's not, it didn't even so much about the games and, and collecting. Uh, you, you know, still get excited by that. But to me, it's about meeting, meeting up with other people. And you know, like I said, got to meet Griffo. Finally, got to meet Griffo, and he's a sound lad. Got to meet up with Eddie again. Uh, <laughs> this is becoming a regular thing, Eddie, isn't it? And yeah, I met up with uh, and got to chat to Tootie and Dainster. And it's it's bringing people together. But yeah, uh, the next the next one that I'll be attending is Doncaster, and there's even more people going to that. That uh, Carl's Room Seventy for one. He's going. Uh, be nice to meet up with him and have a chat with him as well, um, and I imagine there'll be there'll be all other people as well. I'm sure, I'll get introduced to some new faces, and, and then in April, um, I'm making the trip down to Yarmouth, where plans are in place uh, for Nath Nath Retro One and Gernaldino plays uh, to meet up with me at Yarmouth. And we're going to spend the day there. Some arcades, a bit of crazy golf, snails, <laughs> and uh, a couple of gaming shops, you know, charity shops and CEX. Let's we'll see what we can get. Just have a, a, a great time, good laugh. And after that, I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. Uh, me and Eddie have mentioned another arcade club meetup, perhaps at Billy, um, at some point. Again, no dates finalised. But yeah, it's just, it's just fantastic to meet up with, with people and have a laugh. Uh, before I go, I've just got a couple of pickups that I've got. I can't pick this one up because it's absolutely huge. I saw it in a charity shop, the Prince of Wales Hospice, and it was £4.50. And it's the, um, it's the V3 steering wheel. Like I said, I'm, I'm showing you some video clips of it because it's just humongous to pick up and on screen um, but it's it's adjustable adjustable wheel light and it's it's the business it's really nice um, an eBay purchase that I got is this it's River Raid for the Commodore 64 now it hasn't come with a, a case but I do have a spare case um, and it's part of my Firebird collection and this is River Raid. So yeah, I've, uh, I've picked up quite a few Firebirds, uh, Firebird games lately. I'm on a roll. Next we've got, now these two were from the Arcade Club meetup um, back on the 11th of January. And they were, they were uh, from Eddie, he gave me these on the day. And it's what's playing on the PS2 at the minute. It's Simpsons Hit and Run. Not sure if this one is the, uh, the Grand Theft Auto kind of game or the Crazy Taxi kind of game. There's a, there's a bit of confusion which is which. That's Simpsons Hit and Run. 
and then this one and I really was I really was shocked to see this when he passed me I'm like oh really nice yeah, because it's it's uh, it's quite a collectible game really in the scheme of things and as you, as you know I'm going through my list alphabetically I'm still on numerics and this one was quite a pricey game to be honest um, I'm not sure exactly what it goes for but I remember looking and thinking well I'll pass on that for the mid for time being anyway it's the seven wonders of the ancient world and it's by by mumbo jumbo it's a puzzle game but yeah it's uh, it's it's another one to add to the new medics uh, section of the ps2 collection and i'm really really pleased with that and very grateful eddie for that no i'm still i think i'm still missing two big ones from the new medics and, and symbols and that's dot hack quarantine sure i ain't got that Sure, I haven't picked that up recently. And um, 10,000 bullets. 10,000 bullets have twice eluded me for a fairly cheap price. And I've just not gone back and bidded on it. Uh, put an extra bid in. The last one sold for £31, and that's really good value. And I set, I put my maximum bid as £20. Got out bid at 21 and I just forgot to, I forgot to bid anymore. And I lost it, lost out on it, £31. I have seen it go up for £45 before on the bike now. And me being me, I'm like, no, nah, I'm sure I can get it cheaper. Uh, and I could have done, but I was a bit, a bit laps, a bit lapsy daisy with, uh, with me bidding. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's all. I'm really grateful to Eddie for that. And then, um, I haven't got a mirror to show you because I'm just, I'm just a massive bundle uh, of David Retro games played badly. First I, I picked up a couple and and then I said, you know what, I said, do, you want, do you want me to take these off your hand? And he went, yeah, well, they're, they're all to go. So I took them on. They're, they're basically inlays uh, from PlayStation 1 games and, and old 8-bit um, games. And I've got a little got a little project with those. I'm going to test the water out soon um, and it might be a, a nice little way of making money. Um, I'm going to test the water first, do one, see if it sells and if it does maybe maybe I can uh, I can sell a lot more. But anyway I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll tell you more about that uh, in the future. Anyway I hope you enjoyed it and until the next video, next time I see you, goodbye.